Welcome back guys. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today's test drive is this 1955 Bel Air. We've got aluminum headed 350 under the hood. No power steer, no power brakes. Does have aluminum radiator. Motor's pretty clean. Paint job looks good. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Detailed pictures, financing and shipping available at maplemotors.com. And of course, every video that we put out is a full test drive going over the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Look around the interior. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Be checking that out. Across your dash, not bad carpet, not too bad little hole there where they added the floor shifter. This car here is reverse manual valve body and I'll show you what that means here in a moment. Headliner's all right, let's start it up. So they said it had a kill switch under the dash. That's not the right key. Let's try this tiny little key here. There we go, kill switch is on. Make sure I got it. Yeah, it is. Got her started up, the tack. It's coming up on the dash there. Got good oil pressure, watching our engine temperature. They just put it on the front row, so they had it running a little bit ago. I may have flooded it by pumping it. Let's see. Turn signal's not popping up on the left, but it is on the right, so we may have a bulb out over here. I'll show you the mileage. It's hard to stand behind the mileage in this one. Wipers have been deleted. What do you think on the horn? nothing it's not working radio is on it's not doing anything i'm gonna let it warm up a second and then we'll hit the road okay guys we're getting ready to roll out here got the engine temperature up to 180 now let's try reverse just got an upgraded gas pedal takes a second to get used to see how it moves around Okay, so reverse manual valve body means that is first, that is second, that is third. Come back into neutral there, click back once, and we should be good here. Make sure that column locks. Okay. I feel real short in this one. It feels like the seat's sit kind of low which is good if you're tall I mean you'll have plenty of room in this let's roll out good shift there straight as an arrow slack in the steering a lot of times there is slack in the steering on cars with no power steering good shift there there's cops every five minutes I don't know what they're doing today. There was one right beside the lot and then one two doors down. And the brakes feel like manual brakes. Other than the slack, it is turning. It seems pretty even there. Like I said, straight down the road, straight when you hit the brakes. get a little bit of fuel it's showing dead on E so I honestly don't know where it's at does have a locker for first gear there you're, you're gonna want to shift down 
you don't want to leave it in second or third and be going this slow in a parking lot you'll mess some stuff up so be sure to always shift down Okay, $20 with the premium fuel in this rod. This cap has got a kill switch behind it and I'm telling you, I couldn't get my fingers behind there to open it. I actually had to get the key and like get this open. So that is a very tight fit. The cap looks good. And like I said, the kill switch is up top inside there. And watch this be the wrong one again. No, we're good. Flip the switch on. Of course, that gas gauge is not working. Go ahead and start her up. Did have a little bit of a drag there, but we're started up. Engine temperature's up. Full pressure's up. Let's keep rolling. getting ready to roll out of here engine temperatures at 180 oil pressure is close to 50 here we go into those brakes straighten up here let's go brakes are fine
everything sounds pretty solid i don't hear any kind of squeaks or rattles but there's a bump in the road up here we'll hit it uh if you do hear anything i'll try to point it out i did hear a little squeak back there somewhere it sounded like a seat it's about halfway down this road here right here there's a squeak coming from somewhere back there in the corner could be the package tray she sounds awesome I mean, I'm, I'm sitting pretty low in this seat too I'm right around the corner from Maple Motors. We're getting ready to pull back in there, do a walk around video, pointing out the flaws on this ride. That way you know the rest about it. There is detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com, so go there, check it out. And he just ran a red light in front of two cars, but they ain't gonna do nothing, because they talking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Seems to be shifting out just fine. Be back. All right, let's walk this ride. Anything I see, you'll know about it. There's detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around our front end, you got a couple chips up here. Turn signals look all right. Headlight bezels pretty clean. That front bumper has been replaced. They replaced every piece of them too. Got a little dirt down in there, no biggie. Headlight bezel there looks pretty good too. Your grill has got some pitting on it. It's not perfect, but it's also in fair shape for what it is. Let's go down this passenger side first. Tires are in good shape. The wheels look pretty good. Disc brakes behind them. You got some little bubbles popping up there and that's called chemical peel. That's where the paint wasn't quite crimped perfectly here. And it had a little bit of like oil or something underneath it. Coming on down, you got some more of that stuff popping up crack here at the bottom chip there also there chip here up and over a little chip behind your bumper back your midsection you got a paint line here you got a crack right there behind the tail light trim the trim itself here has been touched up Edge of that door has got some fading on the paint. Little scuff there. Cracks and chips. Spot up front, a little bubble there, chip there. Light scratches on top of the fender, nothing major. A little bit more of that chemical peel. A couple bubbles in the paint up here. front windshield on this one I don't see any chips and the seal looks good here there's in good shape a little bit of pitting on your vent window trim Some chips up top there's more of that trash in the paint it must have had some kind of oil in there. Like armor oil or any of that kind of stuff will do this. If it's in the air when you're painting, it's gonna come down on the car. Scuff there on the back window. This side looks all right, trim looks good. That roof there's got some scratches on it too.
ship here. Coming back over the back fender. Tail lights on this one. It's all right. Chips there in the edges. Chips around the trunk. Jams. The trunk itself looks pretty good. Definitely been repainted. Battery tray in the back. Package tray. Solid. Chips on the edge there. Trunk lid itself is okay. It shuts good. Back bumper been replaced. Little bubble there on the trunk of it. Touch up mark. Touch up mark. Chips. down this side. Chips there. Slight little bubbles there. Chips, touch up marks in the middle of the door. Down here at the bottom too. A little scratch there in the paint. Chip up here in the front. Back your midsection. blemish in the door there some more of that chemical peel right here in the middle too might be able to see it I'm trying to make it pop up Got a scratch from here to here scratch there that should come off on the inside there a line door handle looks good little bubbles popping up above it scratch here if you look on top of here this whole thing's been touched up below the mirror there as well slight little bubbles on the door Little bubbles there popping up, touch up mark. Front windshield on this side looks pretty good. Seal's in good shape too. Little bubbles up top. Chip, chip there. On the roof there. Spot here up in the front. This chemical peel is kind of all over the car. Right in the middle of the roof. See it back here as well. In that area. Clear in the back. Made it around the outside. Let's open her up, check out the interior. Door panel on this one, pretty clean. It's been redone, it's sealed, not bad. Bottom of the door, looks good. Carpet in this one looks awesome. It's a hole right here. Somebody replaced it though. Ripping the seat, there, there. A little on the edge there.
get up on your headliner. It's pretty clean. Interior. Looks good. Little bubbles. Turn your ignition on, hit the key. Coming down with it. Shuts decent. Little chips on the edge there. Light scratch up here on top. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share that video. I do appreciate you watching, guys. Again, maplemotors.com is our website. That's where you'll get shipping, finance, and detailed pictures and all of our rides. Definitely check every Monday if you want to be first. Thanks, guys. See you later.